but thank you guys for submitting those clips. That was fun. And now, as always, we're going to get into our Q&A time with you guys. So if you guys got questions, we have a few from the Discord earlier this week. But if you guys want to ask anything live, we'll try to prioritize that. So uh, first thing up, before we jump into questions, let's just talk a little bit about what's going on with us. Um, hopefully you guys did your pre-claim because the pre-claim, guess what, guys, is now over. So I saw quite a few guys rush in this last day. So thank you for doing that. Um, but yeah, Johnny, anything you want to say? Pre-claims now over? Any updates or just thoughts? We there? actually just got some final tallies in, um, and it's it's you know it's good news. It's um, yeah, pre-claim is closed. We had seventy-one percent of all Prime Eternals owners basically pre-claim, um, you know, which is roughly pretty good. It's, 7.1 million keys, a, a little under that, but basically 7.1 million keys in total. Um, you know, and, and that's that's good news for all of you actives because a lot of those leftover keys are going to then go back into the. Um, I believe the plan earn uh, treasury, and we'll figure out like exactly what features they'll they'll be pocketed and slotted into, but. You know, that puts a lot more of those up for, for grabs for those of you who are active when we light up the um, you know when we light up some of the light up some of the earning features uh, in, in, in the game. So yeah, good good deal. I was, I was happy to see some of the pretty much got every one of our big, big and you know notable holders in and through. And um, yeah, excited for you guys and uh, yeah, we'll keep you guys posted on on any additional updates. Uh, that come come through on that. Um, you know, I, my, my guess is like we're in pretty good shape here um, to keep moving forward with the plans we have. So, yeah. Sweet. Yeah. Well, I'm glad a lot of you guys came in pre claimed. That's awesome. I'm looking forward. And uh, I know Keystone will give us more information later about when the actual claim and tokens are going to hit the wallets and all that. So, once we have that info, we'll, we'll make sure to give that to you guys as well. So, if you're wondering, just TBD, keep keep posted, and we'll let you guys know here, hopefully um, sooner rather than later, but we'll find out. Um, yeah, let's jump into a couple rapid fire before we get back to live questions, just because these are the questions people always ask, and we always, <laughs> always have them on the list. Uh, so just real quick, any alpha updates, info on the web-based game or mobile game, or what, I don't know which one we want to call it, but. Uh, web based dates there. Maybe the first alpha is that it's a web based game. That's that's the first okay. web based game that can be played on mobiles. Well, you can if, if your mobile because of the browser. Yeah, exactly. If your phone has a browser, then probably yes. You'll Which I don't know, a phone without a browser. I guess a flip phone maybe. <laughs> that's those are all the phones in Colombia. <laughs> Sorry. Bur <laughs> burners everywhere. Why? <laughs> That's racist. Wait. That is racist. Oh, that is racist. Why, why do we need burner phones? Like, what What kind of endeavor would we be doing that requires us not to be detected as game, well? game dev? Game dev. Yeah. Game dev. <laughs> you can't call me at midnight to, hey, guys, have you seen this bug? <laughs> yeah, I don't have Slack on my phone. Nice. I do. I any yep. any info on the web base that you want to update or leak or um, the kind of same place as last time? We no, no, it. we're doing. We we're actually we're we're making a lot of progress. Uh, it's it's uh, it's I'll I'll, I'll 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 give you guys this. We already have pretty much all the UI flow already designed and uh, and and wrapped up on on the visuals of the UI. It's a it's a game that will make use of a lot of your assets and and as everything, we're going to be uh, launching it in in versions. We're going to launch a, a V1 that's going to be as, as always, you know, base functionality uh, allow us to test a lot of the uh, of the components that we're building for these for these games um, that that are going to be. Um, Maybe this is part of the alpha. It's going to be a companion game uh, to the IP, to the, to the champions game, and it will use some of the stuff that you will be earning, and 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 it will make good use of the progression that players are making on the PC build. Um, 
but but our plan is that it can also exist outside of that loop, and that will be part of those iterations that we do. Johnny, I, uh, is there anything you wanna? Yeah, no, I think you said it really well. I think like on some level, this is also to kind of, uh, you know, the the game will have the same, will share the same login, um, you know, and, and and framework, and uh, you know, as the as the as the arena. You know, it's basically our, our core product right now. Um, it's going to be a way for us to kind of reach an audience that, um, you know, with the IP and, and with the universe that we've built, that, and, 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 and by the way, players too that aren't necessarily adept at playing skill based fighters. Um, you know, this allows us to leverage a lot of the value we've built from the narrative side and the world building side and the asset buildings and all the great things we've done. Um, you know, from a Web3 standpoint, from an NFT perspective, like all the econ loops that we're, we've been building, all the different currencies, all these different things, um, really into kind of a package that's just much more strategic and fun and more like classic kind of, you know, PC simulation kind of gameplay. Um, yeah, I think it'll be something that, you know, I'm sure of you, that there's those of you out there who will, enjoy both games both from just like an enjoyment standpoint and also want to maximize what you're doing um by playing both there'll be those of you who i think probably don't give a fucking shit about it you know and you just want to play in the arena and you know maybe you'll you'll fool around with it just to maximize some some rewards and that's fine too and i think there'll be another whole segment probably out there that you know play this just because it's it doesn't require any real Twitch based, you know, skills. It doesn't really require a, a heavy uh, system requirement or rig, you know, great machine that you guys have to run like, like, like the current game that we have you know, requires. Um, so yeah, I think it's a little, it, it, it's kind of a different offering than we've, we've, we've concocted up before. And it's really in service to kind of the evolving challenges in the market and, you know, attempting to get a little bit more, reach out of what we've built um you know seeing what works yeah sure well, i don't know if you guys are ready or can talk about this yet but are there any crossover features between the two like i think the biggest one are people always ask is like hey can we create crystals from our phone because it takes a while to sit you know in front of our pc and do this are those types of things going to be in the first iteration or no. considered down the line okay no 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 but but, but we do have plans to centralize a lot of the functionality that we know is will be inevitably shared between uh, products that that are all that all exist above the same champions IP, IP platform and and within like we're, we're sort of creating like the solar system that's that's our, our vision with, with Johnny it's like we want to create this like solar system of champions where there's you know, the sun at the center is is the PC build, is, is our arena fighter, and then you have all these other products that orbit them. And, and the way to achieve that without having to rebuild everything from scratch is to have these components that are shared. So there will eventually be some elements that, uh, there will be a, a place, a hub, where you can do a lot of actions that can be shared between all these products, uh, starting with the shop, for example, uh, opening the gacha, buying gold, there's actually some functionality that's already out there that, that is in, in that place uh and we'll just keep building towards that yeah the other one panda is saying chrono claim would be easy you know just uh especially if you're out of town or something don't have it on your laptop yeah these, these are the quality of life features that will probably in, in successive versions will make yeah. a lot of sense to get in there as i said like we're we are we're aware of that like basically the, the core you know the the baseline functionality to log in is going to be the same. So it's going to, it's going to, you know, we store your, all of your information on the account, on the master account. You know, it's just a matter of kind of like creating a addressable way to kind of like service you that stuff, but all the information is tethered there together. So, you know, again, it only makes sense if people pick up on it and want to play it and then we'll, we'll you know, we'll feed into it more. Um, you know, so a lot of that, again, feedback from you guys and, and new players will, will help dictate like over time, like what we add to it or what we prioritize. Exactly. Yeah. Cool.
All right, well, let's jump over to some live questions and we'll jump back to the Discord questions. Miguel's first question was about mobile, so we already covered that. Second question, any update on the part XP? We're, we're progressing. We, we actually have, that, that, is, that is one of our top uh, conversations with, with everyone here on this team. Uh, I, we don't have an ETA yet. Uh, we talked about that a couple of days ago. Actually, yesterday, right? Was it yesterday, Blake, that we talked about? Yesterday, that? correct. Yep. Yeah. Uh, we still don't have an ETA. Our economy team and our and our dev team is working together on, on this. We have, I think we have all the information that we needed to be able to fix it. Um, we, I mean, the, the, we're, we're doing a lot of stuff now. We're pretty much working on two games now <laughs> at the same time. Mm -hmm. So we, 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 we're, we're, we're trying to organize so that we don't spread ourselves too thin on any of the, on both aspects. So, uh, but, but that means that we still don't have an ETA for that, but it is a priority. For sure. Uh, hopefully, we'll have it by, by, by the August 15th build when, when we do the next update. Cool. All right. Next up, VPower. Any chance of setting this option to lock camera would be great for those on controller. L3 can get funky and then says, uh, example, pick a camera view and tick a box to lock in that view. Um, I'm, a, I, I, I'm reading, I don't know how you guys are reading this. I'm reading this as like, yeah, I'd I'm rather sure. be unlocked all the time so that it doesn't reset when I get into match to starting off the match locked. Is that what you guys are getting? That's kind of how I'm reading it. But I, I'm, yeah, I'm sure I understand it. But but uh, there's currently no plans on working on the camera, so the answer to that is no. But maybe if we understand it correctly and there's value in it, well, I mean, of course, we'll, there's. I think I think I, I, I may be wrong. What I think he's asking is like. Obviously, we use the left stick right now to toggle targets, but yeah. when you tap it down and you depress it, it actually changes the camera zoom. I think that's what he's mentioned. Gotcha. Yeah, but he's basically asking for the option for us to disable that depress because that can happen accidentally. Let's um, let, can, can can we talk with with B Power offline? You yeah, know, after the call, L three will often sure change you know, yeah. mid game. Yeah. So yeah, I mean maybe. Um, Probably create a if, if if that is a pain point, we can probably create a story to to fix it, or or, or especially if it's something that's can can be optional for players, and and uh, we can turn it on and off for sure. This is one hundred percent the kind of thing that like it will do it, and then ten seconds later, like fuck, I needed to be able to zoom out. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That's that's that, that's why it's something that we can add as an option in the setting for players oh. to turn on and off. Like yeah. That. Okay. So not it's not an immediate thing, but maybe down the road it sounds like. Uh, yeah, I mean let's 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 get let's get some info. We can we can you know internally all all agree that we're talking about the same thing and and see where we can. Right. He's, he's apparently agreeing with what Johnny said, so we can talk more about that in the Discord and such. All right, uh, two ancient. What is the hundred gold NFT from the Imperial box actually worth? A hundred gold. One that says a hundred gold voucher or whatever. Um, I don't know. Do we want? To, do we have and slash want to give any of the utilities away for the new ones or just say not yet? I keep uh, refusing to I keep can they keep asking me? I'm like, I want it to be a surprise. I'm not on your side. I'm like, I want to find I want to find out like when everybody else finds out. So you're on your own to ask them. I yeah, it's it's a voucher that gives you a hundred gold, pretty much. <laughs> but yeah. <laughs> yeah, but I don't know uh how we can make this one do anything different. I think that would be problematic. Well, is it you know a hundred gold one time? Is a hundred gold per day? No, you know, one time, <laughs> it's a one time. <laughs> okay, all right. Uh, Miguel, will PC games still be the main focus or more the web mobile? What's what's the balance there? It's 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 a balance. I mean, we, we we're, we're going to as I said, the the sun is a PC build in the or in the ecosystem. Um, and so we, I, I think, I think, I think our PC build is is a testament to the quality and the, the depth of the economy and the game that we that we have built. And so a lot of the things that 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 make use of all the economy and and even things from the business side are are always and will always be dependent on the PC build being very strong and and being very robust. So that that I don't think that will change. Um, um, th there is of course. You know, things that happen on mobile and web builds that have to do with audience size, you know, 
and and things that can change that you know can change some of the plans in the future as there's more access from people to that to that build. So uh, it's 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 a balancing act. Johnny, yeah. you want to. Uh, I'll actually, I'll, uh, before we get to you, Johnny, you can answer this. Uh, I want to expand the, the question a little bit because I haven't seen this exactly word in the Discord, but I kind of get the feeling of this from multiple questions of, okay, we have the PC build, we have the mobile uh, or web-based, and now we have Keystone integrating into the game as well. So what's the, I guess, priority? Like, does that change things for like the game itself, like the champion kits, the elemental FOTs, the, the combo breakers, like are those things getting a little bit more delayed? Are we still, you know, similar roadmap? Like how does the balance of all that work on well, right now? On, on on the development side of things, the 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 um companion products that we are creating are not do not have combat involved in them. Are they're they're more separate experiences, companion experiences pretty much. So the the team that 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 works on gameplay at the moment to moment is actually not this doesn't this, this actually move to other other things regarding those builds. That's that's something that that stays the same. It's more on the meta game, more on the economy, more on those 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 aspects, mm-hmm. UI, etc. That that where we do have to to find a balance. Yeah. Yeah, I don't. I mean, I don't want to. I already spoke with the you know, the actual development, like hands-on resources. Um, you know, when it comes to kind of think the high level, if the question, if the other side of the question is talking more about like the high level and strategic planning and like how we like um, fit all of these things together. Um, yeah, there's a lot of, you know, consideration being put into that and a lot of things to consider, you know, that again, the landscape continues to evolve. Um, you know, there's definitely been this reality in place that we need to have the, the, the IP we feel is, you know, the franchise, everything about this product has a lot of value. Um, we know that we know we have a loyal audience. It's a small audience, but it's a loyal audience. So really it's about like, how do we kind of expand what we're doing with with the great content we have to reach more players? You know, one thing that you know we didn't really talk about at all, and I don't think anybody would actually even know to ask this, but in you know, the web-based build, right? Like that can achieve that just on the basis of you know the fact of things we already talked about. You don't need an amazing lightning speed, you know, lightning speed internet connection to do. You know, if the game is not synchronous multiplayer, which this mode, you know, the stuff we're going to do there is not. Um, you know, all of a sudden it becomes very easy to, you know, enter the ecosystem if you're in a place where you don't have access to great internet, to great, you know, um, uh, great equipment, all that kind of stuff. Like there's an actual reality there. But, I mean, we're continuing to work and refine the PC build constantly. This build cycle. I would like to say is, you know, when it comes to the PC build is probably not so, um, there's not any like marquee, like exciting things that we're doing per se, in the sense that like, there's not gonna be a lot of character kit updates this time. There's not gonna be a lot of, you know, this or that, but we're doing a fair amount of housekeeping that um, could, really make the game more accessible to a wider audience as well and perform better for all of you out there. So yeah, I'll let Hiro kind of get into this. I mean, I was I'll, say, I I'll, I'll actually get into it. So, 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 so just, just so you guys know, this build that we're working on is we've been, we've been, we've been using version one of our multiplayer system for almost two years now. This build that is coming out in August uses version two. And version two is light years ahead of version one on how it handles latency, on how it handles input. We, and, and so we, we, we actually have spent the, the, the uh, actually a lot of cycles of development in doing improvements on the latency. You guys have already seen in the last build a little bit of that, uh, on how the game is already handling a little bit better. But, but we're, what we're about to launch is like from Windows. 3.1 to Windows 95 when it comes to, you, to those of you guys that remember that uh, when it comes to 
how the, how the server tech is working and how the how how we handle packet loss and a lot of that stuff. It's it's immensely better. Uh, I've actually shared within the team uh, some comparisons of how it used to work and how it works now uh, using using uh, simulators and latency simulators and all that, like, like and all the tests mm -hmm. that we've been doing internally. Uh, that has um, required pretty much everyone on the game development team to, you know, just just work very hard so that we can support that version of the client and work on the multi on the on the server authoritative uh, tech and it's it's been incredibly, um, you know, it's it's been an incredible effort from the team and at the same time it's it's giving out incredible results. And uh, that means, as Johnny says, no one's going to be flying off screen and landing on top of other people uh, on on the August build uh, that that we've been holding out a little bit for uh, the future uh, releases. Um, but but the the gains I think on the game quality are so big that yeah, it, it will allow us to function a lot better in regions that do not have great internet. Um, it's a big win for sure. I was going to say a lot of the people. Go ahead, Blake. I was just going to say I was excited about the little bit of information that you gave me for the September build as well. Like, so so many of the people here, you know, myself, Luke included, like we have so many characters, and we're kind of like trying to work with all the different characters. And a lot, I know a lot of us have kind of like given up on mass controlling some of our grunts, and like the fact that that's going to be like a lot, like focused on a lot in September is really exciting for me. Cause like, you know, there's some characters I feel that just fall by the wayside and I don't take care of because of a little bit of like the, the like hassle it is to do so. So the yeah. fact that we're going to be smoothing all that, that early experience for leveling and especially, especially for big holders, that's one of the ones that I'm really excited about. Yep. A hundred percent. It all like this latency thing is a big one guys. Like, it, this stems from like we we I mean we knew we knew it obviously when you're making games like this like you know you have issues like we get user reports you know you get up but development like the way that development is done debugging and like figuring out like actually what to do you can't just just you can't just do shit you get, like when it comes to this kind of stuff like you actually have to pin down certain issues and really be able to replicate which is the hard thing especially with latency issues or internet connection. Anything like that, because I mean, we can't. You can't be everywhere at once. However, um, as I journeyed from my home in California towards you know my new home in Florida, I got to experience like a lot of different directly firsthand on the same machine, same setup, same. And there was a moment where I got here on a fresh internet setup. Like literally one of the first things I did after connecting, so there was nothing on all the same equipment, all the same stuff, but on a new on a new stack, and I and I opened up the game. One of the first things I did was open up the game, and I like message her right away. I was like, dude, I don't know what's going on here, but it's like a different game. Like it was blazing fat. Like, Something that other thing in which Florida is better than California. <laughs> it, it, it was like literally like eye opening, like to the point of where you go, like, dude. And by the way, I was completely able to play the game always before this, so I, I didn't have some of the worst problems. I didn't have some. I didn't have the best situation. But I had like, you know, fair. What, what most of you probably consider fairly great. From fairly great to that was like night and day difference. So, you know, the hope is really we kind of can get there. That's going to solve a big component of our retention problems, particularly in developing countries. You know, right now we have, we have a user base in Brazil. We have people coming in from the Philippines, from Vietnam, from all these different places that they don't necessarily have um, high quality, you know, kind of setups. I mean, they can't even play the game. So they come in and the game looks awesome. They want to play it. They can't even fucking play it. So, you know, that's a huge issue that we have to solve. It's an infrastructure issue. The team has been dedicated to that. It's not a little thing to solve. It's a fucking huge endeavor. Um, it's not a fun one either. It's not, like I said, it's not like a thing that can go like, yeah, this month, it's so <laughs> awesome. They build relief. Like, no, we don't have it. Like, this month, we have basically, like, we're fixing, you know, um, as Ira said, that we're going from V1 to V2 in terms of, like, the fidelity of, like, yeah. itself. 
Yeah. I mean, as you said, it's not sexy. It's not like the horde mode or something like new FOT. But when Hyro showed me and and maybe we'll leak it next week as like a little preview to the patch, I was like, holy cow, this is like it, again, it's not sexy, but this is like so important, especially watching some of the Philippine streamers that we've set up. It's just like it's so frustrating because they, they obviously enjoy the game, but as right. I said, like if they're having issues with it, it doesn't matter how cool yeah. the game looks or feels if you're hitting lag and you know, different things like that all the time. So uh, kudos to the team. We'll, we'll maybe leak that next week and, and give you guys a little taste of what's to come because it's, it is pretty cool. Uh, but moving on, though, I think we hit that uh, quite a bit. Um, the point... I don't, I don't even know if that was a real question. <laughs> the point of protoclaim truly is that it also smashed some heads. I don't know what that means. No, I'm like this. <laughs> Try that again, eight, two angel. I don't know what you're talking about. Uh, Ryan, what do you t intend to do with the rare items from the Imperial Gallery, such as painting items? Do you intend for large projects? I think we've talked about this before, but I, I, I have uh, an answer. I have okay. a answer. Sure. So actually, not v1 but an updated version of this mo of this uh mobile uh no, mobile, web web based what? companion is 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 going to make use of this of these uh items it's 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 a you know actually the the, the what, ch what what changes from what we will launch as v1 uh to v2 is exactly that v2 will now make use of for the gameplay of v1 will now require items from the imperial gallery uh, or will require no will will gameplay will 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 improve if you have items from the Imperial Gallery, similar to what we did in in the Maestro Towers. At some point, we're going to have it uh, have them play a role there. We're doing it in such a way that it's that it that it's really easy to maintain and doesn't require you know a lot of coding time, etc. Whenever we release a new collection or even a new item, because because before it, the you know the way that we had designed it. There was a lot of coupling on how things were done, and so it required, uh, you know, even a client update whenever there was a new item on the on the collection. We're, we're doing it. We're we're being a lot smarter this time around. Cool. So, per personal follow up question: Is there going to be a feature as well in the PC game eventually that uses these, or is it going to be now Maestro or Imperial Galleries just for web browser? Like, is it going to be used for Horde mode or some other Maestro Tower feature in the PC game? Un un uh, answer unknown. Ask again okay. later. All right, sounds good. We'll, we'll, we'll return to that at a later date. Um, I don't think we want to answer this because we get this every time. Wind keybinds. Sometime. Someday. <laughs> Someday. Uh, just a follow up to V Power's earlier uh, controller drama. If you use free camera and you use the L button when moving, this leads to L3 option getting active and changing view mid pipe. So that's, that's a little bit more of what talking about uh miguel what is better to invest <laughs> we're just gonna not answer that i'll answer it by not answering it but if uh you do have a group that re meet, that meets brian's requirements from a few shows ago i think he talked about the requirements um we can put you in touch with brian but obviously we're not gonna answer, we're not gonna give you financial <laughs> advice miguel, so um good luck uh let's see i think that was most of the questions here okay um Piedro, will we have a new marketing campaign aimed at new players for quarter three this year? Will we have a new marketing campaign? Oh, just the same question. Blake, you want to speak to that at all? Things we got coming up? I think you might be muted. Yep, sorry. Kids are going ham in the uh, background. Um, yeah, so we have some tournaments coming up. We have some activations coming in um, uh, Latin American region, specifically Brazil. So shout out, Pedro. I mean, you can get in on some of those. Um, we will be announcing some of the stuff as we get all of the, the paperwork signed it, dude. All this stuff takes a long time when you work with a bunch of like communities and collaborators and content creators all simultaneously. So as soon as all the paperwork's done, we'll kind of like, you know, let you know some more information on that. This will this activation is going to be a little bit different than the other one. The other one that we had was more broader strokes. This is going to be more of a competitive type of feel. So, you know, if you're looking to compete, we might be able to have you come in and get get, you know, be part of some of these communities for some of this. And um you know, we'll share some more information when we have it. Yeah. And I think if people are, you know, wondering what's going on, on the marketing side, like why aren't we getting more players, stuff like that, a lot of it is like we we do want to save some of that um, momentum for the web the web build coming out and uh, keys integrating into the game. So uh, we'll, we'll I don't know about quarter three, but definitely as those things come out, um, you'll see definitely more players coming into the game as well. 
Okay, I think that's it for live questions. If you got any more questions, feel free to let us know. A couple last Discord ones um, from earlier. We didn't get the chance to talk about this last time, but any info that you can give Johnny on the keys, the premium gotchas for scrolls and champions, do we have an idea of what that's going to look like, or are we going to wait till later to reveal that? Yeah, I think we're still trying to just kind of iron out when some of this stuff is really going to become available and like what, um, you know, that dictates a lot of like the modeling that goes into it. So it's not really, it's to be, if I'm being perfectly honest, it's not even super clear. We, we've created a menu and variety of options and things that we can do, that we think are going to be viable to do. Um, and, you know, it would be quality, you know, kind of exchanges that I think you guys, would, you know, you and others, um, that are coming into the ecosystem would find interesting. Um, but it's hard for us to kind of like lock in, in, in until we have certain things that we, we're kind of not in control of, to be honest with you. Um, it really comes down to like some of the partners we're working with and some of the timing aspects because, you know, we're going to have to adjust models and figure out uh, stuff almost like, I don't want to say on the fly, but as that stuff evolves. Um, but, you know, as far as like what some of those menus options are, I put some of those like to some degree and put those in the, in the, in the, excuse me, in the champions version of the light paper that we have on the website, you know, to give you a little bit of fire detail, it's like, you know, we want um, to provide some upside in the ecosystem when you're using keys and some exclusivity, right? So things that only keys do. Um, you know, whether that is like, let's just say a premium gotcha in the game, you know, where you could basically get better odds at particular types of champions or higher quality champions, um, you know, which is what you guys are pulling gotcha on a lot now with gold anyway to do, whether it's kind of like the premium side of crystal creation that guarantees a little bit more of, you know, this or guarantee or, or you know, scrolls and guarantees you a little bit better shot on goal for certain types of scrolls. And these are just like some basic ideas, right? And there's other things that we're going to start to um, cycle in as we go and we evolve the game a little bit more, but it's kind of how where our head's at right now. We don't know what's going to come first, um, but we're, we're, we're closing in, I think, on like what some of the first ones were. So as soon as we can kind of say that and commit to it, we'll let everybody know. Okay. okay, I'm ready. I'm excited. I want to know if I'm getting like better chances of an ultra rare or am I getting like a new super ultra god tier rare, you know? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so like I said, I mean, there'll be, there'll, be, there'll be some like premium things and then there yeah. will be some exclusive things that we probably save just for, you know, keys usage, right? Like yeah. You can only get via key. Yeah, cool. Uh, some are asking when we have the new tower. We're not having new towers per se, but we already talked about the web browser build. So if you guys missed that, we'll have that in the show notes and the VODs. There'll be a different type of game, uh, but just stay tuned for that. Um, just to close us out, we had a couple questions. Um, basically, some of the pain points, filtering systems, you know, creating multiple crystals at a time, any timelines or things of that is just kind of the quality of life um, in general for... I mean, I, I could actually talk on this one because I've been talking to, to Alejo directly about this. So like that first patch that we just had on the website was kind of putting in the infrastructure to add those on top of it. So we got like a couple minor little additions in this most recent patch. And then that will be added on to and flushed out over the next couple of months. Like Alejo is already working with some different things to improve that. We literally, I think, are having an improvement coming like in the next day or two to make sure that some of those like filters are adhering even after you've created something or migrated something or minted, I should say. Um, so all that stuff is like, is very much in the process. And you, the thing, the reason that we just took the website down the other day was to start adding those things. So. Sweet. And there's been progress on Matic payments, right? For things? Yes. Gold? Yes. Yes. Progress, progress, progress. Like, you know, do I have a date? No, I do not. Do not. But progress is, is being had. <laughs> 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 All right, and the last one, of course, always gets brought up: uh, eternal scroll faucets and stuff like that. 
I think last time we, we mentioned that's probably more down the line to when we actually integrate keys into the game, right, Johnny? Those kind of yeah, matches. so I mean, this is actually part of what I was just talking about. So, you know, like that's going to be, uh, there's a couple of different ways we're thinking about like bringing eternal ascension scrolls into the mix. Um, you know, and a lot of them revolve around, you know, the obviously, at least from the faucet standpoint, the, the prime eternal, you know, kind of standpoint, whether that's you produce and acquire via keys usage or produce alongside your keys usage. Some of these things we're trying to work out because, you know, once you produce these things, they're, 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 they're like anything else, they're going to be NFTs. So, you know, they become usable by you and, you know, subsequently burnable, right? They also become tradable, um, you know, and they, of course, because of their exclusivity from a faucet standpoint, um, come from PEs only to some degree, or, 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 or coming out of the game from PEs only at, at, ver at the very least, um, you know, they're going to have some level of value there that for, for players that want to reach eternal status. So we have to be very careful about these things. Like there's no right answer. There's no, you know, you, you, like, you can forecast like what to do right. And then we just, as usual, we're going to have to kind of like, um, you know, give it our best shot at first and then iterate. You can't just ask ChatGPT for the answer. <laughs> yeah, I haven't uh, <laughs> ever asked. Awesome. Well, we are pretty much done with our Q&A time. Uh, so stick around. We're going to do some giveaway spins for you guys. But as we jump off um, for Johnny and Hiro, just again, I always love to close with some last words. Any thoughts, any feelings, excitements, any things you guys want to pitch before you head off? Uh, Hiro, we'll start with you this time. Guys, please keep sending your your videos. Um, it's it's I mean it's amazing to see the, them every 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 couple of weeks. You guys are awesome for sending them. Um, I'm yeah I'm 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 really excited to get the uh, those those improvements. We've, besides the server improvements, we've also been working on a lot of bug fixing. Um, we get you know we 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 get a lot of reports from you guys. We also have like our internal QA team catching a lot of those and and we've been focusing a lot on on having a very stable clean build for the build of august so uh stay tuned for that and uh all eyes on venezuela i just want to say that before i leave all right free free venezuela goodbye all right thanks Harold. we'll see you next time emperor any last words before you take up no, I mean, like, you know, we kind of, we kind of laid it out there a lot of, a lot of groundwork being laid. This is like one of these not super exciting outward facing months, but a lot of really big, important things happening kind of on the inside. Um, you know, I'm very optimistic about kind of how this um, infrastructure and latency stuff will affect kind of like the overall experience for really everybody across the board, particularly, you know, those of you you know, who have tried the game and really have suffered, you know, and, you know, through issues that makes the game not fun to play. It is a fun game, those of us who can play it. So, you know, my hope is that, you know, more people are going to be able to actually play it now and come into the mix and mix it up with all of you. So, um, yeah, excited to get that one out for you guys and keep the feedback coming. Sweet. Yeah. Get ready to stomp some noobs, guys. It's <laughs> like Arnie's telling you. <laughs> all right. Take care. Um, yes. So consider this preseason. I made an announcement. It is preseason. Um, we have a lot of things to work through, how we're going to like reward people, how we're going to track things, all that stuff. Um, I understand that player liquidity in this like particular time is going to be a struggle. I want you to know that if I see someone sticking out as someone that provides a lot of player liquidity is taking a lot of these ranked matches in these time slots, I will make sure that they are rewarded. Um, it's it's understandable that like some people might you know want to sit on a rank or something if they get too high or they get their three wins and things like that. I want I just want you to know that like I will be looking out for the people that are are, are you know entering these matches a lot and not just trying to like get into three win, wins in coast right because you know a big part of it is like being able to find people to to affect, to you know match up against and um, please 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 use the exclamation PVP. You know, please get in there and, and battle as much as possible. It makes it more fun for everybody. Um, 
you know, me and Luke will try to get in there a little bit as well and scrap it up, even though we're not as well. I mean, Luke maybe more so than me. It's, uh, it's more competition. Uh, I just I went like big one boys. in twenty against the Brazil guys yesterday. Oh. So I'm not feeling too hot. Yeah. I did yeah, not yeah. beat a Sadari, man. It was rough. Um, yeah. So like again, don't think that anything is set in stone for this one because we will basically we'll basically do like a post mortem after this like month is done. And we I think what we might do is like do this month, then take like a month or half a month off to kind of figure out the game plan for the next one and see what worked and look through the data. Cause I don't want to just like bang my head against the wall and like run an unsuccessful thing into another unsuccessful yeah. thing. Right? I, I think that's a, that's a good point too. Like use this season guys. If you have feedback about surprises or the rank times or any of this, any of the stuff that relates to it, provide feedback. Obviously, you know, this is us running this. This isn't, you know, automated dev stuff yet. Um, so it's not like, you know, I've seen some people like, yeah, there should be like, you know, eventually a thousand people should be getting prizes all the way to gold. It's like, cool. Yeah. I, you know, like a lot of games, you'll get seasonal rewards based on whatever rank. But obviously, you and I are not going to be able to do that manually. Right. Yeah. So until we have some of those automated systems, like, you know, hopefully keep your feedback and suggestions to like things that are actually possible for us to do manually. Um, but yeah, we're, we're excited for your feedback too. It's, I, this is not the perfect version um, that we're saying. You know. I think one of the big things too that I'm interested in is now people have started participating in a lot of play to airdrop campaigns. Play to airdrop is something that champions will be doing in the future and it's something that I take pretty seriously. Um, I think that we have had pretty good like responses to things, to events that I've been a part of. Like, you know, I think a lot of people like the Emperor's Crystal. I think a lot of people liked, you know, when we did um, even like the Ziva festivals. I think people liked it when we did the Emperor's, Emperor's Day, you know. Um, and I just want to make sure that when we do a play to airdrop campaign, that we have, you know, some features in that people have enjoyed for with other games in the past. So, you know, obviously that means a lot about like structure, length of time, basically, you know, any sort of like, like, good written up summary that you can post about your likes and dislikes will be something that i'm very very interested in um i'll probably be making a post about this like next week um that's gonna i'll write i'll run some sort of like quote unquote contest where you know the, the best reports or whatever might get some sort of reward because like i want people to be thorough but i the idea isn't just for you to submit anything that i have to read through and it's just trash you know i'd rather it be a <laughs> i want to play a game for 30 seconds and make a million dollars yeah That's yeah what I it, want to play. yeah ex <laughs> exactly so it would be more of like a top heavy prize of the people that are submitting are actually like taking it seriously you know um so i mean even if you don't feel like doing a whole lot if you just feel like telling me oh i really liked you know machines arena is going on right now i really liked xyz about machines arena i really liked so and so about the beacon you know, all that stuff is stuff that I literally have a channel that I am just dumping stuff into. And like, we're like, you know, categorizing stuff that works, don't work, metrics, blah, blah, blah. All this shit is going into a channel so that we, you know, can look through all this stuff and kind of create a good experience for you guys when the time comes. So that part is very, very important to me. Like, I take running the events like very seriously. And I want to make sure that this one is a success as well. And everybody's having fun at the very least. You know what I mean? Yeah. So cool. Well, I have two quick questions while that. While well, I answer them, Blake, uh, consider how generous Drip is going to be today. Yep. Uh, Gamer AO3, I saw you a couple times say, please fix the issue on remote control. You got to be more specific than that. Uh, tell us in the Discord, maybe we record a bug. I don't know if something's going on there. Uh, yep. And then Miguel, marketing to Mexico and Latam. We've actually had some success with some different uh, Latam countries. Uh, I want to say. Chile and Argentina and Colombia were some of the better performing ones. And we got some activations coming down the road, maybe in a month and a half or two. Uh, Mexico, we haven't uh, we haven't performed there as well. So if you have some Miguel, I've told there. you this, I, I've told you this before, bro. If you find like a Mexican gaming guild in Web three, dude, I will like give you rewards and incentives to put on some sort of game night there, like. Or, or even if you can't do it, we could probably put Waco or somebody in charge, like a Spanish speaker. Obviously, the, you know, I don't want the experience to be poor just because I am a fucking dumb American that can speak one language. You know what I mean? But, um, dude, like, yeah, I, I'll incentivize people to put on, 
you know, these like kind of game nights or whatever for these people and get these these groups in. And then on top of that, if these groups come in, they can be incentivized and rewarded as a whole. Like if you can yeah. get a, a guild to form, dude, guild forming in champions is always a good thing. You want you want these like healthy competitions and these people to have these like kind of like niche groups to to practice in and get better together, you know? So sweet. Uh, follow up to gamer a zero one three did report twice feedback from game screen where you need to select your game match. I always need to use mouse to select. Did we get that into play reports? Do you remember? I did report twice. On oh, 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 I guess he's just referring to some certain portions of the game. Yeah. Require you to use your mouse and keyboard. I mean, that stuff will be fixed. The problem, what happens is they're doing so many updates on the UI UX that it might be like fixed in one and then they update the UI UX and all of a sudden the button on the mouse or on the controller doesn't work and they got to play like catch up on there. So like basically whenever they're doing stuff, it's always, it's keyboard first, controller second. So I mean, they've done a good job of keeping controller in the mix the entirety of the time. But like, yes, the, the, there will be times that a certain button you might have to click yeah. on your keyboard. Like, So uh, we're not ignoring you, but it may take some time. And sorry if it feels like we're ignoring you, but that it, it's just the way the dev works. So yeah, I, I mean, I think anybody that's been around the game for a long time can can kind of back me up when say like there'll be certain certain patches will have more functionality for you know the controller than others, and then sometimes we'll play catch yeah. up, and then we redo a map or a menu, excuse me, and then it'll be all good again, and then we'll break it again. I mean, you know, we're, we're working on it, we're working on it, but it's just remember every time that we fix yeah, something, we alpha. might be. Yeah, every time we fix something, we might be breaking something else. It's just yeah. just kind of how it goes. Woo! All right. Well, as you guys can already hear, maybe I have the AC running now because it's freaking 85 in my room. And it smells like paint because I think my wife's painting the other room right now. So, Dude, we had, we had another event halfway through this stream where, like, God knows what the hell happened in the other room. I just see my kid come and get, like, a <laughs> towel, and he tells me there's a huge mess. And I think they knocked over a plant. So I'm going to go deal with that. I okay, saying, I got Allison. I got Allison. I feel like I'm, getting, I'm getting hot and getting high. Not by choice. No. Nice. Nice. Let's uh, close this thing off. Anything you want to end with, Blake, before we jump? No, I think I pretty much covered everything for the most part. Um, You know, uh, I will say that, like, focus on the broader strokes, guys. I get that balance is annoying, and we will continue to. I'm not saying don't say anything about balance. It is important to make mention of things about balance, but try not to get yourself so worked up about one thing because it is changing. It is changing. It's changing. Like people are freaking out about key master right now. It's like, I know she's strong. Like, <laughs> but like, if you remember like a month it's ago, key like, master. it's just blitz is key master. <laughs> but if you remember like a month ago, like nobody was talking about key master. Like, yeah, she was annoying as a bot, you know? So it's like, it's like, yeah. just give us some time. We're going to be doing it. Like, if you think about like the meta of like, uh, like fear made mention of this, it's like, oh, we have to wait three months or whatever, or a excuse me, we have to wait a month for this. It's like, well, waiting a month is like a normal amount of time for any meta in any game. Right. Like, like, so it doesn't yeah. change faster than that in like I mean, any I, game. I so. think I've, I, it's been a while, but I've seen this discussion in Discord. It's like, you know, we always get complaints about balance and stuff for tournaments and payouts and leaderboard. It's like, yeah, I get it. It's definitely not balanced, but also like, do you want us to wait then? You know, <laughs> like, should we not do anything? Right, exactly. Is that fun for the next, you know, six months or, you know, whatever it takes? Exactly. As, as many times it as we're saying this, not the exact same. Now, now, there are a lot of the same repeated people because there's not a ton of people that like to compete at that level. But, like, not the same person is winning every time. You know what I mean? Yeah. Some, the same person that might be utilizing that might not even be show up to everything. So yeah. it's like, are you just not going to show up to something because they might play? You know, that doesn't, that's not. That's not a good I know. One. It's like, I'm tired of getting smacked down by Blitz's Keymaster, too. But you know what? Like, you just got to cheese him back if you can. <laughs> That's how I got one win off of him. <laughs> right. Exactly. Exactly. And it's like other people can utilize similar things as well. So, yeah. yeah. I, I get it, though. I mean, yeah. No one, of course, we all want it to be balanced. We all want it to be playing super well. But, yeah. yeah. It is what it is until, until we get to that. You're, state. you're always like, I'll always listen to the, to the balance stuff. But, like I said, harping on it. Just isn't that useful. Now I will go in depth with you guys on things that like like everyone agrees with. If like everyone agrees, you know, those are the ones that like are going to be the, the quickest to change, right? So yeah. All right, and you got uh, Allison Lalai before we get off. You got the username there. Yep, got that one. Cool. Got it. Right. All right, right guys, thank you for coming here. We will see you in two weeks for another Messina Live. Of course, we'll also see you in the Discord for events and other stuff. So. 
Uh, of course, don't forget your glad scroll on the weekend for beating old Sally. You don't want to miss that. So we'll mm-hmm. see you, uh, team, uh, Tim and up there. I guess I will touch on that real quick. So that yeah. sh- it should be Saturday now. So there was some wonkiness going on there. It It'll should be on Sunday. This it, yeah, it should, <laughs> yeah, exactly. It should be on Saturday this weekend. Yeah. Let me know if it's not. But I mean, I'll be checking. So yeah. I, need, I need to fucking do it as well. But um, it should be sh- sitting like squarely all day Saturday. Um, we've made mention that like maybe about leaving it open all week. There was some hesitancy. The the devs didn't like that. They 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 prefer that it's like consolidated one day. Maybe eventually it'll last all week, but they prefer how it's set up right now. So sweet. Well, thank you guys. Obrigado. Adios. We'll see you guys next time. See you in the arena. Thanks for coming all. Take care. Peace.